Hi, this is Jeff, the claims guy, and I'm here with Larry. He happens to own the home behind us. He doesn't live here, but this is a rental property, and he had a disaster. So, Larry, I want to thank you for being on the show. Well, Jeff, I really appreciate all the help that uh, you folks have done, and uh, putting this place hopefully back into decent <laughs> condition. But I feel real bad for our renters, but... Uh, you know, this is the first time in 40 years we've ever had a fire in any of our rental properties other than maybe a grease fire in the kitchen. And, and as far as you know, your, your tenants do not have a uh, tenant policy? No, they don't have rental insurance. And I do recommend now, since I've seen this and the problems we've had, that it's good business to have one. It is. All right. Maybe uh, It's good business, let's put it that way. Maybe a little disclaimer in there, how you're not responsible if anything were to happen. That's, that's, that's what that. I think would be a very good idea. But on the other hand, I think for their benefit, they need to have it. I've never really given that much thought because I've never rented in my life. Oh. This is Larry. He owns a home. He does care about his tenants, empowering people to use their insurance policies, especially when something like this happens. Yes. So we're going to walk through and I'm going to just show where the fire happened. I know that you're going home. You're going to get that estimate together. We'll go back to your place. We'll review it. And I'll talk to the people at home and show them interesting things that I found in this rental property. Well, I appreciate all your help, Jeff. And thank you again. <laughs> all righty. Okay. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. Uh, all right. We're getting this open. All right, you know, it's, it's funny, but we just met Larry, and he had a fire in this garage. Not up there. Not up in this little area here, but I want you to first take, let's take a look here. The fire was in this corner, it was concentrated over here. There's a broken window behind me, it's been melted, stained. We're gonna replace that, replace the back doors, re-insulate, install a new water heater, uh, take care of stuff. There's some plumbing issues that, that are here. There was lots of debris from the tenant in this, in this garage. The firemen broke through the back door. They broke the door jam. They exposed a lot of this framing that we went up ahead and just cleared off and there was insulation up in the attic. There was a, a burnt joist, not too bad, right in this area right here, a burnt joist. But this is becoming a big issue, my next point. Here in California, we're in Hesperia right now, and out here especially you have issues with crystal meth and also marijuana. It seems as if every other claim that I'm going to these days you have something like this. Up here, Larry didn't know this, but there's a grow room in his house, in his rental. They were growing marijuana here. You have, they were taking the power from here. They drilled holes and they were able to feed, uh, the, feed the plants from the garage here that the room is, is built in such a way that they can control the temperature from the inside water it from, from underneath and, and power the pumps and everything you need up there, the lighting, right from these little holes that were made in, the, uh, in, this, in this little room. So he didn't know this. Getting provisions in your lease agreements to come in and inspect the property, very important. Homeowners and uh, dwelling owners should know, write it in there, stop by every 30 days and inspect your properties. This is what's happening. We had a little fire here, but usually these grow rooms will burn your house down. This is your investment. So a uh, good idea to write that in there. And also the tenant in this case did not have renter's insurance. It's cheap. It could be $10 a month, 20 bucks a month, but it'll protect your investment. And in their case, their furnishings, their clothes from smoke damage, fire damage. And then guess what else happened? Someone broke in. Someone went right through the garage and uh, went into the house and, and vandalized the property of the people that uh, live inside. So unfortunately, people do kick other people when they're down. Unfortunately, it happened here. So we're gonna get busy with the uh, remodel or the just building back of the simple garage. But unfortunately, another fire. But right now, this is a problem and it's happening all the time. So keep watching the show. This is Jeff, and I'll see you next week.